In today's daily dose of math, we're just looking at dartboard probability, which is a name that I give a type of probability problem where you're using the areas of certain common shapes to get the numbers that you need to make the calculation. In example one, I have something that actually looks a lot like a dartboard. I have a circle with a triangle on top of it. The triangle represents fairly closely the shape of the 20 part of the dartboard, except that the 20 on the dartboard, this part is actually an arc. But that would be more complicated to calculate the area of, so I've used a triangle and I've put a little straight line there. In order to make the calculation, we're comparing the area of the area we want the dart to land in, which in this case of question A is inside the triangle, with the area of the whole dartboard. Of course, we can't do this if we have darts that missed the dartboard altogether. So we have this note, all darts hit the dartboard, which makes me think that the person who made up this question has never seen me play darts. But we take that as it is, and what we need to do is we need to take the information that we're given to calculate the area of the triangle and the circle. We have to be provided with enough information to do that. And in this case, we're given the radius of the circle and the base and the height of the triangle. So I've done the calculations ahead of time. I'll reveal them. What we have here is the area of the triangle, base times height over two. I've plugged in my base and my height, and I've got an answer of 28.2 centimeters squared. For the area of the circle, we have pi r squared, the radius is 15, so we end up with an area of, approximate area of 706.9, because I had to round the answer. In order to calculate the probability of hitting the triangle, we're using that old standby, favorable over total. The favorable is the area of the triangle. And the total is the area of the entire dartboard, which is this area of the circle. We divide and we get a decimal of 0 0.03984. Then we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage. And our answer is approximately 3.99%. This is not a 4, it's a 9. There, so we have 3.99% probability of hitting our triangle. This is how we calculate the probability in this case. In question B, what is the probability of missing the triangle? Again, all darts hit the dartboard, so that means what is the probability of getting it somewhere in the circle but not inside the triangle? And there's two ways of doing this. One way is to show the area in our numerator are favorable of the area circle but not the triangle. So we have to take the area of the circle and subtract the area of the triangle. Our total is still the area of the circle. Once we do this calculation, we will get a percent answer of 96 approximately, 96.01%. But of course, there's a shortcut here, because the chances of hitting the area that don't include the triangle are complementary to the chances of hitting the area of the triangle, because the two areas add up to the total, to the 100%. So a shortcut is to simply, to answer B, to say, well, 100% minus the answer I got from A, 3.99, is equal to 96.01%. The same answer as I would have gotten if I had done this calculation. 
Remember, when you are doing this sort of question, it involves area. We are not being asked to find the chances that a dart lands exactly on the edge of the triangle or exactly on the edge of the circle. If that were the case, we would be using perimeter instead of area. But dartboard questions tend to be about area. This is today's daily dose of math. Please remember to like this video, and if you're not subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button.